Gonna follow the VNAV path though, right? Or do we still, still need to change on the, the MCP? Yeah, but it still doesn't go lower than what you've set on there. Before we start descent, I'll, I'll need to make a call on Unicom. I'm assuming it's in case like there's terrain in front of your automat. Or if ATC gives you a descent, obviously. Yeah. Traffic. 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 By telling us to go now. It's just an advisory, isn't it? Settle the Ryanair from earlier on. Climb, crossing, climb, climb. Yeah, mate, we crossing, need to climb. climb. Ryanair 36, my gecko, this is Ryanair 5, Uniform November. You on frequency, please? Ryanair 36, uh, my gecko, three, go ahead. Three, Ryanair 36, my gecko, we have a traffic climb. advisory warning for you to climb. Mate, he's oh, right there. Climb, climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb. Recent Mike Echo, what's Clear. your arrival procedure into Dublin this evening? Yeah, we're heading to Dublin currently, descending to flight level 100, speed 240, and plan to land on 28 left, right at 36 Mike Echo. That wasn't ideal, was it? So that was the closest we've ever come to hitting another aircraft on the VATSIM network. And in this case, the, the main reasons was we either didn't hear the transmission for him beginning a descent on Unicom or he didn't make it. Now, I could go through the recording and I could see whose fault it was, but to be honest, I'm not too bothered. The second part of the incident was the fact that myself and the pilot flying, we didn't really take any action from the TCAS one to begin with. We instead tried to call up the other aircraft to see exactly where they were. Big mistake. When we did listen to TCAS, the collision was obviously averted, um, and then afterwards I was able to call and, and find out what the um, uh, standard arrival procedure was of the other aircraft. I did that just through the VATSIM map to find their call sign. I already had a holding point in mind as we were practicing holds on this occasion, so I was able to just reel off that we would be holding at Kirav before continuing our approach into Dublin. In the end, we just cancelled the hold as he did take a few shortcuts for us and made a safe landing on runway 28 left. If anything, it added a little bit of um, a, bit, a bit of fun to the end of the flight. It was just a short hop from Manchester over to Dublin. Um, and at the moment, we're really trying to upskill on the uh, 737 from PMDG because it's such a wonderful aircraft. Um, and since getting new internet, we've been able to do a lot better with the Your Controls application with the updates that, that do uh, become available for it. We are going to be uploading some full flights or partially full flights in the future. So if they interest you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You leave a comment and a like on this video if you did enjoy it. And we'll see you in the next one.